Well guys, learned a trick on the internet this week. Welcome to Luckyman Fabworks and let's pretend to be chemists. So this might sound a little cheesy, but I'm actually getting ready to participate in my first ever craft show or flea market. I don't know what you guys want to call it. And honestly, I don't care. Not really my style, uh, not usually my scene, but uh, with my plasma cutter working now, I figured, hey, might as well try selling some signs and stuff, you know. You know, things that uh, the lady folk like to put up in the house and, you know, put in the way of everything. Let you know what room you're in, like kitchen, you know, or bathroom because I forget sometimes, but I was struggling with removing mill scale from my material. And uh, mill scale, oh, I should have grabbed a piece to show you. Mill scale, you can kind of see, actually that's a good spot. You can kind of see some spots that I was kind of grinding on here. Hopefully you can see that anyways. Some shiny spots, some dark spots. Well, that dark spot there, boys, that's mill scale. I don't know all the fancy reasons as to why it's there. I think it's from the milling process. I think it also helps with corrosion of the material. I don't know. I'm not a scientist. Okay? Not a scientist. But all I know is that that gets in the way. And I want to clear that off for painting, welding, a whole bunch of stuff. And I was like, man, this really sucks. I was taking my orbital sander, uh, using the little Scotch-Brite wheels on my grinder. And my die grinder broke, so I can't even use that. I was using sanding drums, little sanding drums in areas that I couldn't get to. So I was like, well, what? there's got to be an easier way. And uh, I just started Googling because, you know, Google's smarter than all of us, apparently. And a whole bunch of people were saying vinegar. Two jugs of it here, white vinegar. Apparently that cap was not on. But your normal white vinegar that you can find at your, you know, your grocery store. And so I was like, well, there's no way that works. Well, I was wrong. It works very well and actually quite quickly. So I'm going to show you guys what to do here or what I've done. Uh, I did a small test piece on some small pieces and it worked phenomenal. And if that saves a guy breathing in fumes of dusting and all that jazz, I mean, I don't know how dangerous vinegar can be. I mean, I eat it, so can't be that bad for a guy. First thing we're going to do is I'm gonna pour some in here, but we also need something to test with. So I'm gonna see if I can find something that I can test this with and show you. I might throw a couple pieces in here because I got a few pieces waiting on some stuff and we'll see how long it takes. I don't see how that would be too difficult. And like I said, if it takes a guy, you know, a lot less time to sit there and grind on stuff, I'm in because this can be soaking while you're doing something else. So yeah, I'm gonna find some pieces around here and uh, we'll just get going. Okay, first you're gonna need white vinegar. Like I said before, I bought two jugs because it's cheap and might as well have some extras. You're also gonna wanna find yourself a tub. A tub. It's very noisy. Uh, I found this on the side of the road because I'm cheap, I picked it up. But you have to be the right kind of cheap, right? You need to know you're cheap, but if somebody makes fun of you being cheap, you got to give them heck for that because that's, that's, that's not good. Only us cheap guys can say that. So anyways, I have this uh, welcome home sign that I cut. And I also got uh, some two cross guns for a sign I'm working on. Uh, and a large spade for that same sign. Custom sign I'm working on for a guy. And I'm also going to throw in this little piece that I plasma cut a long time ago. It was actually a bit done really badly. It's got a little bit of rust on it. But I'm going to throw it in here anyway, and I'm going to leave it in here for a long period of time just to see what happens with it. Uh, who knows, maybe we can make some fancy, I don't know, rust or texture with it. I don't know. We'll see what happens there. So what I'm going to do is uh, i got a, I got three nuts here. I found three 9 16 nuts. wish I had more. Uh, I do have more. I just don't want to throw them in here. But I'm going to stack the parts in here. In a manner, I'm gonna use these nuts as kind of spacers so liquid can get everywhere. And then we're gonna let them soak. Let them see how long it takes. So I'm gonna get these set in here. Uh, and then I'm gonna 
Fill it with vinegar, I guess. See what happens. Now we just pour the vinegar in because uh, there's really not much else to this place. I've seen some guys cut it down with uh, some water. Uh, I don't see why I would think that this would work just fine just using vinegar and uh, that would just slow it down I would think so I'm just gonna pour this straight in here and hopefully this bin doesn't have any leaks and we will find out very shortly actually I don't even know if this one jug's gonna be enough to cover all these but we'll see what happens pungent smell All right. Well, let that sit. All right. So we're coming up on five minutes, and I'm about to lose my camera. There we go. Five minutes. And so I'm just going to give you a little peek here. And actually, some already came off. Uh, I don't know if you can really see that. But as I rub, it's already coming off. Now, some of this stuff will take a little bit, but that's only five minutes, guys. Like, it's it's starting. Let's see here. Yeah, I don't know if it's picking up on the camera, but it's already starting to come off. You can kind of see some on my finger already. So it's, it's doing good. So we'll give that a few more minutes here, and we'll see what happens. I mean, it might take a couple hours. I don't know. But it's working, and I am not inhaling dust, and I don't have to have noisy tools going, and I can be working on something else, which is what I'm doing right now. So stay tuned, and we'll check up with you in the next five minutes, ten minutes. We'll see how it goes. I'll get back to you. Okay, guys, time got away from me. I ended up going in, uh, going in for supper last night, and ended up hanging out with the kids. So these have been sitting all night. To be honest, I was expecting to come back to uh, just a, you know, pail of dust, but nothing happened, which I'm really good about, and I'm sure this stuff will come off now. So. Uh, it's been multiple, multiple hours, multiple hours. Uh, but yeah, basically almost 24 hours now, but, uh, looking at this now, you can kind of see what's happened here. I'm going to pull this out. Hopefully you can kind of see that, how it kind of got all speckly and look at this. Just like butter wipes right off pretty impressive guys like when I saw this work I was that there, there's just no way I didn't believe that this would actually do anything I thought it was just one of those things someone saw on Pinterest and you know made it look important but this is going to save a guy a ton of energy and if you're like me who wants to do multiple things at once this is ideal comes right off man that's awesome and yeah like I said you're not uh not inhaling dust you're not uh spending a bunch of time going through sandpaper uh, i've seen guys reuse the vinegar they just throw it through a coffee filter some guys don't even do that they just throw it back in the jug and reuse it next time which is probably what i'm going to do might leave this pail open for now because i am still cutting some stuff for so-called craft show craft sale flea market thing and this is going to save me a ton of time uh for prep because i think what i'm going to do is once i do this I might still run over it with some sandpaper just to give it some, some bite. Um, just doing aerosol covers right now, paints. Uh, I want to do something better, and there's a couple builds coming up that will show you what direction I'm going in, and I'll show you guys all that later. But for now, I'm just using some aerosol paints. Uh, I think I need to neutralize this with water, otherwise it'll rust. It's actually, actually, it's almost already flash rusting here a little bit. But that's nothing little scotch fright can't fix. So I'm going to hose these down, prep them for paint, and get them coated. Worked out really good, guys. I know it's a pretty short video. I know this is pretty lame. But, uh, well, not lame. It's important. It works. And it's something I'm going to add to the arsenal in the shop uh, to be able to clean parts. Uh, and this doesn't just go for signs, guys. This will go for anything that I'm playing with. Uh, I'm probably going to keep that tub. And the vinegar on hand, I might get a few, a bigger tub. Because who knows what size of stuff I'm going to cut.
But anyways, if you've watched this whole video, thank you so much. I appreciate it. And I know YouTube likes that too. If you can go ahead and subscribe and hit the like button, I'd really appreciate that. And we'll see you on the next one. See ya.